uh, James Peck uh, PX Farms, just based just outside Cambridge. Uh, we're a current um, user of BWT services, and he's providing us with tyres and rims, uh, set up for our control traffic farming, working on predominantly a 1.8 um, inside to inside tyre wall. I suspect we've probably now had the best part of 40 uh, tyres from BWT over the last sort of three, four years. Uh, getting our um, system across our farm set up on the sprayers, the different sizes, and the tractors of the different sizes, but not only that, but also tracks. So this particular wheel is um, a 900. And then you've got on the front, you've got your um, 710s. Now, what's different about our particular rims is we have them pushed out. So if you come and look from the rear, because we do controlled traffic farming, the distance between this tyre wall and this tyre wall is how we measure where the tracks of the combines are, the tracks of the um, tractors are, the sprayers, everything. So we want an, a 1.8 metre between the tyre walls so that all the wheelings start to run down the same depending upon where the centre line is. If you measure from the centre but you have a 900 tyre here and you change to a 650, you've got a problem. So that's why we picked the inside to inside. Now, to keep us within the, the limits uh, on the outside um, for going down the road, we had to pull them in when we put the 900s in, down to about 1.55. So that's the measurement. When they go to the 650 tyres, they'll be at 1.8. But the, the tread pattern is still in the same places. So everything runs in the field down the same lines. So we got BWT to make us the rims. Now, we started off originally with a different company that actually didn't blossom into a long-term relationship so we moved to BWT through frustration turned out to be a great decision really pleased we moved to them they create the rims we haven't had their rims break up whereas the previous brand were breaking up um, continuously and we had a lot of downtime in the fields etc they were basically spinning out in the middle like a uh, tin opener had gone round and detaching themselves from the, the, the tire in the wheel from the axle so uh, we went to BWT, they make us the axles, uh, the rims, and it works well. And we'll go look at the, um, the other tractors which got narrow wheels on, and we've got some really big wheels, 1100s as well. So this is 1100 tyre. Uh, we got one tractor on the 942s. So fortunately, the axles for the 942s and the 939s were the same. So we hadn't got to get new rims. And all of the tyres are interchangeable between all the 942s, but they'll typically have all of their own set. But the 1100s, which we bought for the rear, and 900s for the front, is actually so um, when we go rolling or we go drilling in the wet, for example, on the frost or, or, or with a wet weather drill, we've got the 1100. The difference, interestingly, between the 900 and the 1100, you know, is, you know, is 20 centimetres, but it's 20 plus two tyres, so you've got 40 you'd be amazed when you let the pressure down on them because they're all the fence, that's the great thing about them, they've got the, the pressure system so you can let them right down. The difference in, in going across the field in the, in the, the compaction and also the, um, the, the overall effect is extraordinary. The 1100 tyres for me are, are a real plus. Uh, I'm really keen on these uh, for, for the wetter times. In fact, I'd, you know, when, when I'm feeling bold enough, I'm going to get a second set. But um, these tyres here, for example, these are all the 900 and 710s for the, uh, for the other tractors because currently two of, the, two of the 942s are on spray modes. So they're on the 650 uh, rear tyres, uh, which are like the intermediates, our row crop equivalent for the tractor with the trail sprayers. Uh, and also we have the, um, the, each trail sprayer has the wide tyres and then has the, um, has, has the narrow tyres. So we can carry on spraying this time of year up and down the tram lines. Obviously where we're doing the mustard, we put the self-propelleds in and where we're doing the wheat crops and barley, for example, we'll put the um, trailed and the, uh, and the tractors. Um, so uh, Will Brock, who is my main contact at BWT, they don't just do, interestingly, the, 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 the tyres or the rims. They also now do tracks for the crawlers. So we're trialling um, on this crawler uh, we bought a set uh, from BWT and uh, so far uh, we haven't seen a disadvantage from using these from the camouflage that we traditionally would have used, you know, in the, I suppose 25 years I've been running uh, crawlers and um, actually, no, it's a no, sign of my age now, it's more like 30 years. <laughs> but, 
Yeah, the, the so far put on uh, halfway through the season last year, uh, and uh, we typically have to because we've got the three crawlers. We have to have a set every year. Uh, generally, because we're driving 70 miles in one direction and 34 in another, for example, we do get probably a little bit more premature tyre wear than uh, traditionally what a lot of people would use. But uh, so yeah, set a year. So we're trialling these, and uh, currently I, I would have no trouble putting um, this on the next uh, crawler um, during this coming season. So this is another set they did for me again, um, CTF, where they've pulled them out so that they're, they're 1.8 between the tyre walls. These are 580s, uh, 85 by 42, Alliance tyres. Uh, some of the spec in which uh, they have to get right for me is I need to be able to do 65K. So I need the tyres to be up to uh, taking uh, the heat from the speed. So I have to go for a slightly better tyre for it can take the weight of the machinery and also the loading and also the speed. So. Uh, that they sort that out for me and then they build the rims accordingly. So this is already set up now for going in, in, in the crops for um, late spring, early summer uh, with, the, with, the, with the narrow wheels and we'll set the tractors up, as I said, or 650s uh, and then with the similar on the fronts. So uh, th this tractor here is set up, ready to go on the sprayer. Um, we just saw its um, sprayer at the, in, in, in the compound. Um, this has got a 650 uh, by 8542 and then 600s on the front. Again, this is going to be between the tire walls, between this one and this one, this is the 1.8. So that's effectively what the 1.8 looks like. So Gordon's um, busy loading. Now the tires on this particular um, forklift, this is the second set. So we, 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 we know when the first set went on, obviously it's zero hours. We know at what point the uh, tires wanted changing. We know the brand. So what we've done is we log the number of hours that each machine um, has when it has a change so we can work out the cost per millimetre per tyre. And the reason we've done this is because we're monitoring to see a different brand of tyre that BWT supplied us with, what that cost is going to work out to be. It doesn't matter necessarily if we have to change it earlier in terms of time, depending upon if it costs less at the beginning or, or vice versa. So um, typically these forklifts, because of the nature of the way they've got to uh, load up all the time on the front, they scrub the front out first, and then we have to halfway through swap them around to the back and vice versa, it hasn't been swapped yet. But um, so far, uh, these are actually doing really well. And this is something Will Brock and I at BWT are sort of keeping a note on to see what the longevity of these tires are. We are um, thrilled with our relationship currently with BWT get on terribly well Will Brock and pleased at the way that we managed to work together to look at the tyre wear and, and most cost effective way of running our tyres uh, throughout our business on so many different machines. I can't recommend them high enough.